coming in. Don't worry, you guys. I'm back. Jet! Dude. You're all right. Wait. You're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squidgy face. So happy to see it. Jot, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you, dude? Indeed. I'm talking to you via the device known as a Rune Tooth headset. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting stuff. Now listen up. This business with Humgrump is rather worrying. We must consult with Queen Chroma at Archia City. You three should head there now. We've got some wizard business to attend to and a donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violet, Thrash, I'll fill you in on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard out. Conference call. Well, you heard him. A trip to Artia City. My hometown. Jot, I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoot. Yes, we did it, guys. And we got our sword back. Boom. Like pulling the master sword out. Little nod to Zelda. Nice. Head down the staircase. And so our heroes set off to Artia City to visit the good Queen Chroma. Chapter 4 A Treacherous Trail. Snail Trail. Ooh, Sonnet Swamps. Gotta go through the swamps here, guys. On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut through the aquatic land known as the Sonnet Swamps. Sounds dangerous. Well, this is unknown territory, kiddos. Jot, your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guaranteed. You could get splatted, eaten by a huge frog, who knows? Although these swamps are usually rather cultured as far as I gather, the residents here are quite keen on poetry. If you ever wanted to hear a snail recite verse, here's your chance. Nevertheless, use bad reception <laughs> moonbeard looks like rune tooth doesn't work so well in these swamps i guess we'll get connected again once we're on the other side oh man this bug looks rather disagreeable i agree got him probably should have threw the sword at him hey we could pick up items with that nice let's get this one from afar <laughs> the move's awesome. It's just kind of weak, though, you know? It, do it doesn't take a ton of health off of them. All right, we open the door. We can go forward. What's this? It's got lightning magic coming from it. Whoa! Look at the size of that. Big, uh, gnarly, uh, thing. <laughs> the big spiky thing. Hey, it's a snail. Let's talk to him. His name's Abad. Abed. Green lightning struck with furious sound. This insect's nest broke through the ground and thence flew the bugs. Really not a fan of these punky bugs. So that was a nest that bugs broke out of? All these bugs. Okay. Dang, this place is heaving with bugs, dudes. Hey, there's a cave up there, too. Hello, little goblin. I have a task for you, my rotund purple friend, concerning that wretched squire. I booted him out of the book, you know, but he's a persistent little creep. He may still be out there with an eye on causing humgrump trouble. 
But you see, Humgrump will bring the trouble to him. Take a shot of my meta magic and leap through this pretty portal. Set yourself free of these pages and go bully that wretched pest. Whoa, so he could send bad guys outside of the portal too. This Humgrump's legit. Oh, man. <laughs> kind of looks like a teapot, doesn't he? All right, so we're going to have to go outside the book and get rid of that thing. So these bugs only take two hits when we're not throwing them. I love how our besties are with us on this part. Got to keep collecting as many light bulbs as we can. Because I want to buy some of these special moves now next. Oh, these guys shoot stuff at us. Here's a flying shooter, I think. Uh, now this green green gobbledygook. I wonder if we go in that, if it hurts us. Should we test it? Oh, it's gone. It must just be like uh, bug juice or something. Oh, we could go in it. Yeah, we're safe walking through it. He got me once. Okay, before... Oh, we're not going to be able to go in there anyways. We need a key. I was going to say before we go in the key... Um, the key door, or the cave, let's go in the portal. So, this must be one of the portals Moonbeard was talking about. And you, Jot, could just jump right out of our world through this thing? Onto a desk in someone's room? Crazy stuff, man. And on that desk is a storybook in which we're all living. I'm a character in a story? My whole life is just a plot line? Sorry. It's just a bit much to take on board. Although it figures that I'm just a supporting character in someone's story. I just wish I'd been written a little more cool. Oh, Violet, you're super cool. Don't worry about that. You're the coolest, Violet. You vanished. He must be on the other side of the realm now. I wonder if he can still see us? I guess to him we just look like drawings on a page? Gnarly, dude. Look, it even shows the two hearts we had up there before. That's so crazy cool. So now we could go back in over here, but there was a guy that escaped, right? And he's wreaking havoc over here somewhere? Oh, here he is! Got rid of him. Ha ha ha! Take that, um, Grump. All right, let's go. Let's go in this side, and we're gonna have to get that key. There's a lot of them over there. See, now's when you want to throw your sword, right? When there's a big group like that, we could probably get a lot of light bulbs here. A lot of light bulbs, dudes. You can tell this game takes a lot of cues from Zelda. Old school Zeldas. That's awesome. Like the spiders hopping around, that's a Zelda thing. Love it. Alright, we got the key, let's... Oh, I see what we're going to have to do. I've got it all figured out here. Let's get some health, though. We're going to have to take the key back out of the book and then into the other portal by um, Thrash and Violet. Oh, he's like, he's like pooping that stuff on the ground. <laughs> I think it slows you down when you walk in it. Maybe only when there's a bunch of it. All right, let's go get the key now. We'll bring it over to the other side. We're coming, guys. Can we roll with the key? No, I'm pressing the dodge button. You can't dodge while you got the key in your hand. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Hmm? Oh. 
back in our world again. As simple as that. I really wonder what it's like out there. Maybe someday Violet will be able to come out there with us. Beautiful. Come on, guys. This looks dangerous. Whoa. That's how you do it. Got him. These guys are easier. No worries. Okay, so this will open up there. Beautiful. You can jump so high in these cave sequences. Like, look at that. Look at that jump height. It's impressive. We need to get down there. Yeah, we got to take these guys out. There we go. Oh, that's cool. We could roll it um, while we're in 2D also. Looking good. I love those 2D sections, cave sections. A huge bug sat in the middle of the path. Humongous bug. Looks like it's full of water. If it wasn't so huge, we could get around it and be on our way. It is pretty huge. Got him. Punks? Mini beard, dude. I think we're going to have to go out of the book again on this one. Oh, look at this. So a huge bug sat on the middle of the path. We could move the word huge with tiny. Then this will be a huge frog. And then this will be a tiny bug. And if this bug goes tiny, we'll be able to go around it. Kick butt. Oh, there we go. Now we can get by Mini Beard. Let's do some collecting here first. These ruins were just full of bugs. So if we just take this out, will they get rid of the bugs? No. Well, can I change huge with bull? What if I put huge of bugs? I just spit it out. A full bug sat in the middle of the path. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the door. Sup, mini beard dude. Ooh, the rusty gate was closed. So what about back here? Rusty gate was full. The rusty gate was huge. Hmm. Let's take these bugs out and just check this part of the map. There was a switch up here too. Now, I don't know if this will lead us to it. But we could check it out still. Oh, so that gate's going to open the door. Hmm. Let's go out of the book. Maybe we can find something. Maybe we could find some words out here. Oh, we just <laughs> fell off the desk. We got a trophy for that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm having second thoughts about this. Now, if we just come over here. 
Can we cross this? Oh, there's words over here. The moat was completely drained of water. These ruins were just drained of bugs. A drained bug sat in the middle of the path. Maybe that could work. The rusty gate was drained. <laughs> just spit it out. We still couldn't get up there. Oh, full. This will do something. So what we can do is take this full word back out and put it in the river being just drained of bugs was completely drained of water. I mean, now it's going to be full of water and we could go across the lily pads and press the switch. Woohoo! It worked. There we go. We're getting somewhere here. Now we're going to have to drain it again, though, to get in that door. So I wonder if this little cave we're about to unlock maybe has another word or something. We need something with the word open. Right, so we can open the gate. I think that's the next step. Because we need to get the word tiny over here to the bug. But we got to get through the gate first. There we go. Oh, wait, we don't know. We could we could jump down from here. Oh, Jack peered into the open grate. Nice. Can we hold on a second? Let's throw it. Can we mess with this bug? No, it's just a, it's just a cute little guy chilling there. Sounded like it was a bullfrog or something. A little froggy. All right. The rusty gate was open. Woohoo. Now we're in. Got the word tiny. This is going to let us through. A tiny bug sat in the middle of the path. Nice. And he scurried off. Goodbye, tiny insect, dude. Awesome job, Jot. You've really got a grasp on the power of words. It's all just amazing, really. Huge to tiny, full to empty. By changing the words, you can change, well, everything. I guess the story of this book really isn't fixed, huh? I guess not. Maybe the story's characters are not so fixed either, you know? Yeah. You guys control your destiny in here. Still in the swamp. Making our way. Oh, the shop guy. I wonder how many light bulbs we have. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Of course. We have enough for the spin attack badge. Nice. So press and release L2 to do a spin attack. All right, here we go. Wait, did something else appear after I bought that? Jump attack. Oh, spin attack upgrade. Spin twice after charging up. That's pretty cool. Awesome. It's like the Legend of Zelda spin attack. The walkway was destroyed. For sure, we're going to be able to move the word destroyed. I like doing the spin attack, but it's hard when you're doing close when you're close to an enemy. First, you got to get his attention and have him start chasing you. <laughs> Okay, let's check this side. A tiny lily pad floated on the water. 
The walkway was destroyed, but it won't let us pick that letter. Let's just take Tiny with us, see if it'll... If we could bring it somewhere over here, maybe? Oh, do we need to flip the page back? Yeah! Oh, I got it. So we're gonna manipulate here. I got an idea. If we go back to this page... We can get the word huge. Remember the word huge was in here. This is getting tricky. But the word huge was in here. Remember was a huge bug was in the middle of the path? There it is. So we could change the uh, tiny lily pad to the huge lily pad. And that'll probably let us cross the river. I think we got it. Let's try it. This is clever. Clever puzzle. A huge lily pad floated on the water. That's why it didn't let us do anything with the bridge. Because we didn't need to do anything with the bridge. <laughs> it's How did they manage to make a lily pad cute? They did. They did somehow. We're in. Nice. Look over there. A poor flippery floundering, floundering fish. Can we save him somehow? Uh, maybe we can go through here. Yeah. We grab the fish. Jot cleared his mind. Now he was ready to grab the fish. Oh, we got a mini game, a grab mini game. Oh, missed them. We're gonna get them. Oh, how did we miss them there? <laughs> gotcha. Hey, he gave us a thumbs up too. He's like, nice job, dude. You got me. Let's Fish put him back in the water. Grabbed. The plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. There you go, buddy. And there it regained its composure. Now you could breathe again. Phew! Thank you so much, noble traveler. My name is Flotio, and I am a fish. Green lightning zapped me right out of these waters. Consumed by fear, I flipped and flopped. Till by your hand my fugue was stopped. I am eternally in your debt. But you must forgive me. I must go. For my beloved swims this reedy fen. And I cannot rest till we meet again. Safe travels, my noble saviors. That was... <laughs> Violet is saying exactly what I was going to say. What an extremely well-spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. Yeah, that was the most educated fish I've ever heard of or heard speak. Smarter than me, that's for sure. Our heroes ventured on. The sounds of the daytime chorus began to fade. And the light began to dwindle. Getting dark in the swamp. Oh man, that's scary. The swamps are kind of moody at night. Check out those singing frogs. Sweet harmonies, dude. It was now night in the swamp. So that's what we're going to have to change. The word night. Maybe if we change it back to day, everything won't be singing. And we'll be able to uh, get in some of these pathways. The bridge was broken. We need to fix the bridge. Let's see if we get somewhere else on this page. Oh, the bridge was solid, maybe? 
Let's see. Anything else over here? So that's where we need to go, obviously. We need to get to this cave. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here, though. Oh, it's a button. Can't get in there fast enough. So we need to find something that we could put on that button. Yeah, I can't roll into that. Can't move any of these guys. So let's see. I think we need to go back to a different page. The, bi the bridge was broken. It was now night in the swamps. So let's go back some pages and see what we can find. No words there. The bridge was huge. That might do something. The bridge was open. The bridge was drained. The bridge was full. It was now tiny in the swamps. None of these are sounding right. Maybe we could do the bridge was huge. Let's try the bridge was huge. If the bridge is huge, then it's not broken. Right? So... That kind of makes sense. Could be it. There's only one way to find out. Let's experiment. Let's test it. Oops, so I got to pick up broken first. The bridge was huge. Nice. Huge bridge. We got a trophy for that one, too. Oh, man. I can't get through, though. Hmm. All right. Well, back to the drawing board. It was now huge in the swamps. Maybe there was a day somewhere. Oh, maybe right here. The word light is here. Oh, daytime. Can I get onto this pit? Yes. No way. That was tricky. I went and got every other word in the whole chapter. See, before when I was looking at it, you couldn't see the swirly. This is definitely it. Yes! The frogs moved. That was tricky. So now we will know that for future chapters that, you know, just because you don't see a swirly when you're in the real world, like the 3D world, doesn't mean that one won't appear if you go on that page. Anywhere you see a word, you, we can go after it. All right, so let's get this thing on the button. Then we can get the word solid. We'll make the bridge solid. Boom. Hey, what about this? Oh, that opened this too. Probably just get a bunch of light bulbs in here. Maybe an art scroll too? Yeah. Called it. Add it to the gallery. Ooh, whoa, that looks cool. Concept area, slime dungeon. That's pretty neat. All right, let's see. We need the word solid now. We're gonna make the bridge solid. Oh, we got to move it again, though. So let's make it night again. I can't believe I went and got every other word before I figured that out. Hey, sometimes it's tough, you know? Video game puzzles can be tricky sometimes. There's a solid bridge. Awesome. Let's get in this cave. Ooh, spooky cave. 
Wow, so it looks like we might have the ability to jump out of the page here. Uh, can we jump that high? No, let's go down. We just fall out of, <laughs> fell out of the book. Now, okay, so that's a closed door over there. We need to go in at the right time here to fall right on this platform. Boom, perfect. What? Maybe there's another spot we could find something to put on this button? There might not be anything in this cave. Let's see. Oh, there's a box over here. <laughs> These puzzles are so cool. What a neat idea they had for this, huh? This, like, jumping in and out of a storybook. That's just amazing. Why Why am I not going in? Oh, I, I didn't have the button prompt. We're in. Got it. Bam! Pow! Win! Whoa! Almost attacked right off the platform. Okay, and I also... Let's see. Okay, so we're going to need the box back and bring it in over there. I think we could just fall with it, right? That's got to be it. So we could fall with it and then put it in up here. Oh, that lets you back down. I, I don't see any reason to go back down there, though. I, I think we're good. Let's just move forward. Ned, adventurers, maybe you can help us. Our house is full of flying bugs. Please kick out those insectoid thugs. You bet we will, snail dude. Squire, your sword there looks mighty sharp. But if you want to wall up those buzzing pests, a long-range weapon will serve the best. Um, there may be something around here. Long-range weapon, huh? Let's take a little gander. Huh? There's something lodged under the water. Maybe I could dislodge it with a little bit of magic? I could never quite get this kind of thing to work. But, well, I suppose there's the first time for everything. Guys, um, maybe best if you stood back. Here goes nothing. All right, Violet's gonna try using her. She's a trainee wizard. Whoa, holy guacamole, it actually worked. Oh, uh, I mean, ta-da, cool, huh? It's a big log, not really a long range weapon unless you threw it. <laughs> there might be something at the other end though, let's go. Whoa, a portal. You know, I get the feeling there won't be a weapon just lying around in the swamp. I mean, have you ever seen a snail rocking a crossbow? I haven't. But maybe you could find something out there in the other realm. Good point. Maybe we could find a weapon out here. Alright, looks like we got an adventure out here. Oh yeah, look at that. Wolf Ranger. Well, that must be it. Looks like we got a ways to go. I saw... Yeah, look at that. I was going to say I saw light bulbs out here. Let's collect all that we can before we head into that next zone. We need to get the jumping attack is next. Or we could even power... Wah! Power up the spin attack. There's more light bulbs. So that's the way forward, I think? No. Let's grab those. Oh, Moonbeard. Oh, it's Minibeard. Word up. It's me, Minibeard. 
or to give you my full name, my talking mini beard. I'm a toy based on the character Mini Beard from the book Pl The Plucky Squire. It's all a bit meta, but my advice is very practical. If you're looking for a long range weapon, there's an elven warrior around here who owns one. She lives in a game card. Head upwards to find her. She might try and shoot you with arrows, but don't take it personally. Sounds like that's just her nature, you know? Look at all these. Look at this. Lots of light bulbs here, guys. We're going to have enough for an upgrade, maybe. Oh, no. We have 85. I think I think we needed like 200 to unlock the uh, jump attack, if I remember right. That's pretty expensive. This is the way. Up the ramp. Let's move. Bookworm, Jot, we meet once more. But alas, it seems that danger is on the horizon. Sonic Swamp's least desirables have extricated themselves from the book. But it does at least appear that you are suitably equipped this time. Eradicate these invertebrates forthwith. Let's do it. Let's take them out. Bugs aren't going to get us this time. Boom. What's up? Nice. Talking mini beard. Hey. How do we get up there? Maybe talking mini beard will give us a clue. How do? You need to head upwards. You'll want to find a block to climb onto. I'm sure there's one around here. I'm very sensitive to the proximity of plastic blocks. It's a family trait. <laughs> Probably because he's standing on one. Here we go. Got it. Well, there's something behind there, too. Did you see that glow? Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's artwork. Nice. Look like some kind of dungeon in the artwork. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. We're making our way, guys. Got to take the shooting guy out first, I think, is the way to go. Open the gate. Is this a spring? Oh, we can pick it up and bring it out. I see. Then we'll be able to bounce up high over here, I think. Let's see. Trying to... Maybe is there something I can put it on to jump higher? Can I put it up here? Oh, I had to hold the jump button. That makes you jump higher. Got it. Got it. Whoa. This is pretty epic. This kid set all this up in his room. Very creative kid. Oh, we're 2D now. Geronimo! <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, we can go up into the book there. Or the page there. In two spots. Can we try this one first? This looks like, oh, this looks like it may be a dead end. Oh, we needed to go in there to take those spiders out. I see.
All right, we're getting somewhere. Later, Mini Beard. We gotta go this way now. Dodged him. Oh, he turned around and shot me still. Yes, the key. We're in business. Oops. We're in the castle. Let's see if we could find this uh, elf lady with the arrow. Something else here again. More artwork. So it's just showing characters. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now we could take this with us. Do we need to jump up here? Or there? Let's see what's on this side. I don't think it matters, does it? It looks like they might be connected up there. Talking mini beards back. Oh, we got a way to the right over here. Oops. So I do think we need to bring it that way. Maybe we could jump over this uh, spot to the right. Oop. There we go. Without that arrow sign, I might not have seen that. Oh man, look out. Stay in the middle. Almost there. Woohoo! Hey, there she is. Alonia. What's this? Another intruder? I can see a thieving gleam in your eye. Oh, I want maybe it's a boss fight. Maybe we'll have to earn that bow. <laughs> this is so neat. Show me what you've got, rascal. Oh, maybe we could talk? Jot tried talking. Now is not the time for words, but for battle. Jot takes a defensive position. Only a, she used an arrow strike and missed. So do we want to do a slash or a stab? Let's try a slash. She received damage. Arrow barrage. We received heavy damage. How do you like the points of those arrows, scoundrel? Let's try to talk again. I do not converse with scoundrels. I see panic in your beady eyes. Uh, should we? Let's fight again. Let's try a stab attack this time. Another arrow strike. You will not soon forget the song of my arrows. Mister. Oh, no. We just got heavy damage again. Let's talk again. I will not talk to you, but my arrows will sing. No doubt you rue entangling with a forest elf. Let's defend again. We still receive damage, though. I don't think there's any way we could win. We'll see if we get game over when she beats us. Ah, her attack missed now. Yeah, we're almost down. Oh, bookworms here. Or Paige. Jot, it is I, Paige the bookworm. Paige the bookworm. You seem to be in a desperate predicament. Let me revivify you. Whoa, Paige cast a magic spell, healed us. Your vitality is restored. 
I may have also spruced up your offensive capabilities. Alas, Jot, that was a one-time spell. I can revitalize you no more. The outcome of this skirmish is now entirely up to you, Plucky Squire. This sorcery matters not. I shall dispatch you once and for all. Battle on. Oh, look at this. Brutal Slash. Nice. Her attack missed now. Rushing Stab did a lot of damage there. Our forest will be happier with you gone. Still, you persist, intruder. Oh, she casts a spell of protection. I will destroy this elven bow before I give it to you. The elves will never let their weapons be used for evil purposes. You can tell that to your boss. What was his name now? Ah, uh, yes. Humgrump. Wait a minute. She thinks I'm a bad guy. Jot, did you hear that? It seems that she has erroneously identified you as an agent of Humgrump's. You must talk to her, Jot. Inform her of the truth. I think I can reproduce the spell that she cast to buy us some time. Oh, nice. Paige casts a spell of protection on us. All right, now let's try to talk to her. And now let us finish it. Let's see. Uh, Humgrump isn't my boss, let's say. You expect me to believe that? Oh, man, we just took damage again. Really? Humgrump is my enemy. Your enemy? But what do you mean? I'm on a quest to defeat him. You mean you are not his underling? Come on, Paige, help me out. Most assuredly not. Jot is a champion of his land, striving to defeat the dastardly Humgrump and put a stop to his mischief. Is that so? Now that I take a closer look at him, he does seem to have a somewhat heroic countenance. Alaunia, we wholeheartedly apologize for the disturbance we have precipitated. We are searching for a weapon to help clean up Humgrump's chaos. Your elven bow seemed like it could be advantageous in that regard, but we did not mean to cause any turmoil in your forests. I have decided I shall lend the elven bow to you, and in the, any enemy of Humgrump is a friend of mine. I can see the aura of good about you now, Jot. Nice. We received the elven bow. We got it. Exceptional. Nailed it. Alonia says, when the bow is finished assisting you, it will return itself to these forests. Good luck on your quest, young Jot. Our battle was most bracing. She's very nice. You got the bow. We made a good tag team, don't you think, Jot? It seems that Humgrum's forces have made their way outside of your book. This does not bode well. Here, jump into this sticky note. You'll be able to get down to the desk and back to your book. Here we go. All right, so now we can use this bow and arrow. Oh, wait, we got to jump down this way? Whoa, that was wild. Sticky no travel portal. So now we can take out these bugs. Let's go get them. Maybe we're going to have a bug boss fight. These guys have been waiting a while. They're very patient. Jot, welcome back. Did you get what you were looking for? Show them the bow. How do I use the bow is the question. There we go, lad. Go wallop them. All right, but I have no idea how to use the bow still. Oh, man. Bugs. Jot read it the elven bow. It was time to put its powers to the test. Yeah. <laughs> elven bow time. Thirty bugs we gotta take out, guys. That's 
That's four. Can't believe how many bugs there are in here, huh? Oh, we could do a, a charged attack on him. Get him. Oh, he got me. Jot drew his bow back as far as he could and shot that creature right in the eye. <laughs> I see these bugs are armored. Missed them. Gotcha. Oh, that was close. Darn it. This is not easy, guys. It's a really cool mini game, though. Oh, I thought I had that one. We need help. We're getting taken out here. This is so hard. Ah. We only got one hit left and we can take. Oh, just barely got him. Wow. First try, we did it, though. Man, that was hard. Harder than I thought it was going to be. Nailed it. The plucky squire had squashed the bugs. Squashed them. These snails are going to be very happy with us. Thank you from the bottom of our mus uh, mollusk hearts. That's not the last of those bugs, though. We've had word there are more ahead. They say their leader is a big, horrible bug with flashing eyes. Have your wits about you, adventurers. And good luck. Oh, man. This is going to be... We're going to... We're heading into a boss fight, I think. Nibbles, nibbles. <laughs> what else do they say? What a story this will be. Our house saved by the plucky squire. You sent a peck and you're a good one. <laughs> you're a treasure, lad. What does this one say? Such pluckiness I have never seen. Thank you. We pluck that bow and arrow well. Another snail. You've reached Snailford. Upon Avon. A nice peaceful town. At least it was. Oh no. It's going to be infested with bugs most likely. Yeah, look at this. We're locked in. Maybe this is the leader of the town? Octave. Is that the famed plucky squire? Most unexpected for us to find you in these lands. We've read all your books and thrilled at your adventures. We don't get to adventure much ourselves. Being snails, that is. I once fell in a hole. Uh, but I suppose it's nothing compared to your escapades. You write about them so evocatively. I'm a big fan of your work. Perhaps, oh, perhaps you could help us? These horrible bugs have trashed our town and stolen works of great renown. Namely, the two-volume collected works of Shell Spear. <laughs> Lucky Squire, please defeat the bugs and get those two books back to us. Snail friends, we're on the case. Leave it to us. You said it, Violet. Let's help them. Well, if it isn't the Brave Warriors, I've got some new stuff in. Take a look. Wow, look at this. Another sword damage upgrade. Spin attack upgrade. I think we're going to hold off on the uh, jump attack badge. I'm going to take the sword damage upgrade too. Nice. And what's the spin attack upgrade one? 
Yeah, let's do that. Very good. Until next time. Okay, so we got a key door here. Let's get the layout here. A weird, um, you know, dotted line rectangle there. What a great carved staircase. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. There are 10 bugs here in this western nook. Defeat them all to collect that book. I thought we upgraded our stone, our uh, sword damage. Still took three hits to fight those guys. Look out. These guys are the ones that are pooping goop. Goop poopers. There's a snail hiding. Hey, the plucky squire? I've been rescued by a celebrity. <laughs> oh, another snail. What does this one say? You banish those bugs. You're just as brave as I imagined. So here was a stone block. Maybe we could use it to get up here. We can't jump on top of it. So here was a stone block. Oh, let's switch it with staircase. Here was a stone staircase. That's got to be it. Then we can get above. Nice. <laughs> Take that, bugs! Got him! Like a hero from a shell spear play, the plucky squire has saved the day. You saved my shell, thank you. Can we do anything with this statue? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we... Obviously didn't take out 10 of these things yet. What a great carved staircase. Hmm. Let's see if we could warp over to another part of this um, area here on the right side. We can't get in there without a key. And there's another book in there. Let's try swapping it with block. What a great carved block. Instead of staircase. Just turn it into a block. Okay. That didn't do it. Um, we got to get back out. When we press this button, this opened. But I wonder if this one opened too. Let's press that button again and check. Oh, but we need the word block. We got to make that staircase into a block again to test that theory. Oh, I got an even better idea. Can we move this staircase? No, it's like stuck in place. Unless, let's move it to a block again. Let's just t test it real quick since we already made it into a block. Nope, that one's closed. Okay, so what if we take this, right, and move it over here and then make it into a staircase. Maybe it'll turn into a staircase that gets us... Oh, we don't even need to do that. We can just go over here this way. <laughs> I knew we had it this whole time. First book. Complete. Attained. Let's talk to this guy. Thanks for taking care of those pesky bugs. Yeah, that was a tricky one. So 
So let's see if this they'll give us a key or something when we open this up. First book. Volume 1 returned all thanks to you. Now here's a, cre a key to retrieve book 2. Let's do it. We're going to get into another battle in here it looks like. I see snails hiding. Maybe even the boss fight. Ooh, hub grump. So my insect spies tell me the wretched squire is at large in these pages again. In these very swamps, most displeasing. No doubt he and his miserable friends are on their way to Artia. Well, I'll soon put an end to their adventures. I'll summon up some squire killers. Some rushing, crushing caterpillars. What? Caterpillars. Let's try to hit him in the head. Oh, he's mad. Whoa, they drop bombs too? Maybe they could hit each other? Maybe we could do something with these bombs they drop, right? No, they just hurt us. Hmm. Oh, maybe we need to change the word here. Change the word to nice. These caterpillars were rather nice. It doesn't let us though, huh? We just need to keep hitting them. Yeah, every time I didn't realize that before, every time you hit them, they lose a uh, part of their body. Gotcha, little guy. That one's down. This guy's so fast. Ah! I can't catch him. There we go. Got him. That was tough. There's book two. Can we talk to any of these snail buddies? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right. You blasted those caterpillars, man. <laughs> There we go. Both volumes are now back safe and sound. We are eternally grateful. We will thank you with a special performance. Oh, well, they're going to do a, do a jingle maybe? Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest something. <laughs> Ooh. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. King and queen, hello. <laughs> Been waiting ages to say my big line. <laughs> Bravo. You snailed it, dudes. <laughs> now, brave adventurers, exit stage left. Which would be, you were right. Fare thee well. Alright, adventurers. How many bulbs we got? We only got 12 light bulbs, so we're just going to keep going. Can't afford to buy anything else yet. Shh, don't tread so loudly. The boss bug will hear you. Roar. Whoa, can you see those buggy looking eyes? You mean the ones that are rapidly getting bigger and bigger? Whoa! They took my buddies. I told you, you shouldn't have tried so loudly. It's always feet that are causing trouble. 
They're in trouble, guys. We gotta save them. Something's in this tree. Oh, another artwork. I know we missed a couple already. It's all good. Cool, that one's for character design. Character concepts. Look at this, like an old wise snail. With great caution, you must tread. There's a buzzing brute in the nook ahead. I love how the snails always rhyme. Most of them do, at least. Jock could hear the big buck through the entranceway. He readied his bow. It was time to finish this once and for all. Let's go. Bug battle. Oh, man. He's got helper bugs, too. What? That didn't even hurt him. Oh, you got to hit him in the eyes. Oh, great. Got one of them only. Turn around, punk. We've been missing those. There we go. Got a hit there. Two hits. Darn it. He's hard. This is not good, guys. I don't think we're going to make it. Unless we step up. We got to play more defensive. We got a heart there. Oh, no. We're down. Yeah, he's, you know what's hard about it? Is the joystick moves so slow. And arose to fight once more. Yeah, let's fight him again. I wish it could move faster. Can we change the sensitivity on the uh, controls? No. Nope. We're stuck with what we got. Let's do it. Come on, baby. We're going to get him this time. There's two hits. Now we got to back up. Oh, I wasn't ready again. There we go. That's how you do it. Got one of them at least. There's two hits. Not doing as bad this time. We're going to take this guy out. Dirty mosquitoes. Oh, that was close. Oh, how did that miss? He's setting the armored bugs now. Easy. There's a shot. Two. One more hit. Got him! Yeah. Boss bug down! Beautiful! 
right in the butt with an arrow. The bug was bested. The lucky squire triumphant. Legend. Amazing, Jot. You wielded the elven bow magnificently, plucky squire. It served you well, and now it must return to the forest. All right, we return the bow. A magical bow. Well, I'd never. The exit from these swamps lies ahead. If you ever return, you'll be happily welcomed back by all its residents. Well, apart from the bugs. You destroyed all of them. Really cracking job. Farewell, young adventurers. We did it, guys. We made it through the swamp, I think. We're almost out of it, at least. Phew! We survived the swamps. You know, Moonbeard said Jot was off script here. But it turns out off script doesn't have to mean certain doom. Nope, we figured it out. We improvised. Improvisation, I dig it. Like a drum solo. Or a freeform painting. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? The fish. Adventurers, I returned, or I reunited with my love, Gilliot. Hi, Gilliot. Lotio told me all about how you rescued him. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> what lovely fish. I'm so glad they found each other. They look so happy together. Now, come on, let's skedaddle. Let's get out of here. Finally, our heroes were out of the swamps. The sun on their faces felt most pleasant as they continued on their way. After some time, they arrived. Whoa. At Artia. Artia City. All right, guys, that's it for chapters three and four. We finally arrived to Artia City, made it through the swamps, destroyed all the bugs. Press the like button if you're enjoying this game. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video for Artia City. Take it easy, everybody.